Another perfume I said I wouldn't get because it's voted as being quite jasmine forward. Now, oh, that was perfect timing for a moped to drive past, wasn't it? This is JLo Glow. As you can see, this is a bit um, battered and bruised, and that's why I got this for an absolute steal. I think it, I got it for under a tenner, this little 30ml from Direct Cosmetics. Um, it just popped up when I was ordering Burberry Body and I was like, okay, let's just try this because it's it was so it was so cheap. It might have actually been about six pounds. Um, so I was like, oh, this is going to be my opportunity to try this because this is another one you can't really get samples of because it's been around for so long. So lots of people describe this as soapy. Lots of people love it. And I thought I'm going to just try it and see what I think because I absolutely love still, but I haven't loved any of the other JLo perfumes that I've smelled like at all. I've sold all of them that I've tried. So mm, this this is one of the weirdest perfumes I have ever smelt. Now I was slightly pre-warned because I've seen Shana J talking about this loads. She loves this perfume. I think it's been part of her collection for a very long time, as it has for a lot of people. And she talked about the opening being mad like wild like you have to let it dry down but i've never come across a perfume that i actively despise the opening and maybe the first half hour that then dries down into such a pretty perfume i'm still massively undecided about whether it's wearable for that reason because i tend to put my perfume on when i'm on my way out the door and i tell you what i don't want to smell like the first half an hour of this perfume in front of anyone it is mad <laughs> so okay i'm gonna give you the notes but i'm not sure how helpful they are so the top notes neroli orange blossom and grapefruit middle notes jasmine rose and tuberose base notes musk sandalwood orris root and vanilla and amber so i'm gonna instantly get up the votes yeah musk is right up the top so this the votes on this is musk way above everything else then jasmine then rose then neroli then orange blossom grapefruit tuberose sandalwood oris vanilla and amber at the bottom so i do i get quite a lot of grapefruit but the musk in this is skanky it is a i mean if you'd have told me there was civet in this i'd have been like oh that's what it is this is such an animalic musk it's pure skank and when you first smell it, it's horrible, I would describe this as. On top of that, I would say that this is a very indolic jasmine. Um, the, like the tuberose in it, I think, is also skanky. It's just pure skank. Like, and I, I don't, I'm not trying to be rude. It just is. It's the whole thing smells funky in a horrible way. And I don't think this has gone off because I've, I've read other people's reviews and the people who don't like it I'm recognizing what they're saying it smells like but I sprayed it on the card and I was like this is awful <laughs> what is this this doesn't smell soapy this just smells like a, a like an animalic nightmare you might as well have just got a skunk to come and spray all, itself all over you or something it's rank and then I just left the card because I remembered what Shana J said. And when I smelt it later, I was like, well, this is just very pretty. This is a very, very pretty, clean and soapy smell. <laughs> but getting there is quite an unpleasant journey. So I was like, okay. The other morning I thought I'm going to just test this out before I kind of can go and scrub it off. And I think it's quite sharp when you first spray it. Sharp and animalic. And then on my skin, I am not even joking, it smelt like gravy. It's literally smelt like Bisto gravy mixed with this funky, skanky animal musk and like very sharp grapefruit and some really overpowering flowers. It was so weird. It was like the smell of death, <laughs> dying flowers and skanky animals and gravy it was horrible and then after about a half an hour it's absolutely beautiful <laughs> it then smells soapy floral and soapy and it doesn't smell mainly like jasmine to me at that point i feel like the neroli and orange blossom is starting to kind of push that skanky jasmine out of the way and really blossoming into a lovely fresh clean soapy floral 
and again you get a bit of the sweetness then from the amber and the vanilla so it's it's and I'm starting to reach that on the card now because I resprayed it maybe 15 minutes before I filmed this and it's starting to change so I didn't spend much money on this it's not going to be much of a loss if I keep it so I'm going to put this in a drawer and then one day when I'm just I'm not going to see anyone else for like half an hour I'm going to put it on I'm going to try it on my neck which I'm scared about I'm going to make sure my hair's out of the way I'm not going to let it touch my clothes at all and then I'm just going to see how it is when it dries down because if I if it's as pretty as it sort of felt on my hand in the deep dry down it might be something I consider keeping just because you know maybe I can get through that half an hour but uh, it's very strange I talked all this time without taking it out of the box oh my goodness I'm such a silly billy it's because it's just one of the weirdest things I've ever smelt it's just one of the weirdest things I have ever ever smelt it's uh, I don't I've got some, I've smelt some animalic things. I've actually got um, a dupe for poison that's horrifically animalic, but this is next level mad animalic musk. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know, maybe that's why it dries down so nice in the end, but yeah, I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. Um, but like I said, I will try to give it a go. I will then update you in a what I wore last week and try to let you know... Um, whether i think it's worth keeping and also you know lots of people like it but i think a lot of people really don't so i guess this is a real dividing um dividing kind of scent uh but yeah anyone who's got this and likes it tell me if you have what kind of experience you have with it because i'm really interested because i genuinely i don't think that there's anything wrong with my perfume i think it's just a weird journey with this and um I think it smells really very strange on my skin when I spray it on at first. But yeah, I'd be really massively interested to see in the comments how everyone else feels about Glow um, and like what they get most out of it because I think when it dries down, I still get mostly musk, but it's not. It loses all the skank. That's what it is. It just loses all that skank. <laughs> but yeah, woof. I was not expecting this to smell the way it did when I first sprayed it I was very surprised it's like really weird but anyway yeah so that's um even though it took me so long to take it out of the box this is the bottle and one of the cheapest and most horrible caps I've ever seen but I think the bottle's quite sleek so it's all right um so yeah anyway uh, let me hit me up in the comments if you've got anything to say about this whether you think I'm mad or, or whether you get that same thing and like tell me how long it takes to dry down on you and if there's a better time of year to try it <laughs>